Hey everybody. Hey everybody. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Uh, it's starting off weird. Ron here from Fallout Hobbies. And uh, today I'm going to be working with Turbo Dork paints. Because we got the whole line of Turbo Dork paints coming in uh, starting tomorrow. We'll be able to sell them on the store. Which is awesome because Turbo Dork is really cool. I love their friggin' paint names. They're amazing. Yeah, they have some really, really great names. Look, here's Multipass. 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 Um, so I wanted to do, uh, I wanted to test them out on something uh, a little weird. So I had this uh, Reaper Miniatures Cthulhu model that I was working on about two years ago, and I pulled that out of storage. And I had started modifying it with some uh, Games Workshop wings because I wasn't really feeling the Reaper wings. So I'm going to just use some Turbo Dork paints on this Cthulhu and, you know, see where it goes. As always, Jules is here. What's up, guys? Answering questions. Uh, well, reading questions and we'll answer them. Breaking out some colors here, kind of getting a feel for what I want to do. I mean, I definitely want this guy kind of greenish, but I might want some different effects happening. And I think I want some purples mixed in there, maybe some like fleshy tones. So I'm going to work with that. All right. As far as the green goes, this Electrum's pretty cool. I like that. Seafood's pretty cool. Definitely works with Cthulhu since he's under the ocean. Let me go see what else I can conjure up. Let me check the paint rack. Yeah, definitely the best names. Bubblegum Crisis. I'd love me some anime. Uh, Let Them Eat Cake is a cool one. What, what's the other one? The Ground is Lava? The Ground is Lava. I'm only pulling one from the inventory for now. Yeah, just let me know what color it is. Mm -hmm. I can mark it. Yeah, so we got the full line of 50 different colors that'll be available tomorrow. We also have a couple of uh, smaller additions to the store tomorrow as well. Some new stuff for chapter customizer and some new decal sheets. Um, so the thing with Turbo Dork Paint that's really cool, it works best when you airbrush it, number one. Number two, um, it is a little on the thick end, so when you airbrush it, you definitely want to make sure that you're cleaning out your airbrush frequently. And number three, the more layers you apply of it, the cooler it looks, like it gets more saturated. The paint is a little on the translucent end, which is a good thing. So that's why I sprayed this Cthulhu like green first, just as a base color. And I'll be able to, uh, you know, build up from that. So I think I'm going to test out, uh, let's see. I definitely want to do some, this let them eat cake one, but kind of in the shadow areas, probably more around the tentacles and like the belly area here. So for the base coat, I think I'm going to go with seafood. I'm going to go with seafood for the base coat and start with that. Let's fire up this airbrush. And I'm going to enjoy a Pellegrino while I'm waiting for the compressor to fuel up. Delicious Pellegrino. That was a very hipster thing to say. I apologize. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> I was just thinking it's better than some of like our other live streams that were like early quarantine. Early quarantine like, where we're getting drunk on screen. No, but we are enjoying the whiskey on the rocks while painting. While the world's burning. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right, the stair brush is nice and clean. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just feel free to leave them in the comments. Jules will read them out. Next week, we're going to do a uh, Halloween theme. Yeah. Live stream. And we, we promise to keep it clean. We're going next week. We're going to be painting a mask. Next week, I'm going to be painting this thing for Halloween. I'll have to move the camera out a little bit so you see it, but it's my Halloween mask. So I'm going to be using some stencils and whatnot on that. So if you've got kids that are home and homeschooling around 1 o'clock next week, we are going to be painting a mask that will be really cool to watch. This is true. I might put a chaos symbol on the forehead. Go for it. Or maybe I'll make up my own. Maybe I'll grab one of the like magic sigils and turn it into like a custom airbrush stencil, like for the forehead or something. Or I could use like the large magic sigils sheet. Oh, that'd be cool. And like put a decal on the forehead, maybe. Figure it out. I have to think about that a little bit before next week. Alright, so I'm just putting the Turbo Dork straight up. This is a very nice shade of bluish turquoise right here. Get this brush. There we go. Oh, yeah. Sorry, this brush has been giving me a little issues the last couple days. I need a good cleaning on it. Oh, look at that, babe. Mm -hmm. Those reflections are wonderful. Yeah, I really, really like the Turbo Dork paints a yeah. lot. If you're doing anything ethereal, demons, you know, uh, ghosts, or like ancient mystical things, this paint is definitely the bomb. I don't know how well you can see it in the video, but oh, it, you can see it. You, you can see, see it. The, you see the, the shimmer. And the shimmers. Yeah, look at that shimmer. That is, that is nice. The specific color that I'm using right now is called seafood. It's like a blue green kind of transition. We so, did. Yeah, we're going to be carrying their stuff very shortly, too. This is true. And we're also going to be carrying Army Painter products very shortly. So we're going to have Turbo Dork, Games Workshop, Army Painter, and probably a few other miscellaneous items soon. And we're also working on new tools of our own design and new airbrush stencils and new 3D printed pieces as well. So kind of a lot going on right now. I'm working on designing a graffiti sheet right now, which might not be done by tomorrow. It might be next week on our Friday newsletter the following week. Yeah, if you subscribe to our newsletters, you're going to be getting a couple over the next few weeks because we're just adding so many new Add items. Us. We're really expanding the, the store right now. Uh, hold on a second. This uh something clogging this airbrush from before it's not the turbo door paint there was a I guess I didn't clean this out too well from when I was painting last night with it my bad sorry about that 
about that. side here now if you guys watch the videos on a regular basis um, about a month ago maybe a little longer than that I did use turbo dork paints on another guy uh, what was that oh it was um, a deep kin the flying shark things mm -hmm. and I was using the dragon scales 2 stencil on that to simulate kind of like a fish scale effect and it worked out pretty well at least I thought it worked out pretty well I'm gonna be using the infantry reptile skin on this guy in a few areas too but let me right now I'm just getting like a really nice good solid coat of this seafood color before I get into any more details I'm gonna clean the brush out because like I said, this turbo door paint is awesome, but it is thick. You gotta make sure your brush is flowing. You, you don't want to let it sit or get stagnant in the brush. Just keep it clean. Any uh, questions yet from anyone? No. No, okay. How's the video looking? Good. We have been so busy the last couple days, it's insane. We got a new printer in. Jules figured out the key to that thing so all of our decal prints that have been coming out the last couple days are just sick awesome better quality than before and they were good quality before so definitely excited about that i cannot take credit for that that's the new rip software which is way better than the inferior product which we were using before jules is being modest she figured it all out because she's a smarty pants Take a compliment, babe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to switch up for the wings because I want to do a cool reptile effect, like a reptile skin effect on the wings. So I've done this before in different videos where I like painted an undercolor and then used one of the stencils and then painted an undercolor. These are the stencils that we're going to use when we get to that. But the first thing to do is paint the undercolor. Now, I want the... Uh, if you're working off of a color wheel... Purple is the complementary color to green. So if you want to get a really good, you know, bright contrast, you're going to want to stick, you know, to your complementary colors. Um, so I'm going to use Turbo Dork's uh, Let Them Eat Cake, which is this dark purple to kind of bright purple fade, uh, which is really awesome. And the cool thing is these bottles come with a little BB in them to really shake it up. The older bottles didn't have that, but the new ones do. Let's get that nice and moving in there. So I'm gonna give these wings a really good coat of that on both sides. And uh, once that's dry, I'll start applying the stencils and doing some like a green, you know, leathery kind of effects over top of it. This is a nice color. It's going to take a couple layers to really build up the uh, effect that I'm looking for here. Sean Adams says, love the 
this paint got some a few months ago. That's awesome. Yeah, they, it, their paint is killer. Yeah, we now have all 50 of their colors, um, which are going to go live tomorrow. I have to, I think I have like 20 more to add to the store tonight. And then they have new paints, I think, coming out next month that mm -hmm. we pre-ordered too, which we're going to be carrying. Yep. for a second. Get to the edges here and yeah, get a nice coat on that. You do kind of burn through this stuff pretty fast, I do have to say. You know, I'm wondering here, hold on a second. Like I said, this is a little bit of trial and error. So this paint is very translucent and I'm wondering if I should lay down a little bit of purple, just kind of I think that would look awesome. in the cracks here and then do the purple turbo door color over top of that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Alien purple, that's a good color. I'm gonna use a little bit of an opaque color just to kind of offset it because the turbo door paint is very translucent. Why is this, this airbrush has been giving me issues the last two days? I really need to get in here and do a deep clean on it. That'll be my weekend project. Not like I don't, you know, have enough projects. But... Yeah, we have to finish organizing that room for the Games Workshop inventory. Yes, we do. Okay. Now I'm going to apply the Turbo Dork paint over top of that and get a really good shimmer on it.
Oh yeah. Uh, that's better. Yeah, that's looking cool. Alright, I gotta let these wings dry over here before I do anything else. I don't wanna screw them up. I'm gonna test out some reptile skin effects with the stencils on the main body of the big boy over here. Let me just clean my brush out for a second. So, I used seafood for the main body. Now, what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna test it on this hip right here and see how this looks. I'm gonna apply one of the reptile skin stencils, infantry reptile skin, and I'm gonna switch it up to, sorry, I just shook the camera, I'm going to try, Electrum's too similar in color, you know, I'm going to grab another one from the rack here, I've only used one so far, not that it needs inventory too bad. The question is, do I want to go darker or do I want to go lighter? Radium. This color looks cool. So I'm going to use a color called Radium, which is a little bit more on the brownish green end of the spectrum. And see how that looks when I apply it with the stencil. It might look cool, it might not, I don't know. I'll figure it out. It looks pretty cool. I'm gonna, while I'm at it, put another stencil over this forearm here. I'm having a backup here. that fast. There we go. <laughs> oh, that looks cool. I am very happy with how that looks. That is cool looking. All right, let's continue that. 
just going to start applying these stencils just in random areas and just adding uh, just adding texture. That looks, that looks good. Let's get some across this big, this big belly of his. That is such a perfect, subtle skin effect. Oops, <laughs> blew the stencil right off. under his arm here for this one. You know what, I'm gonna get a new panel. There we go. There we go. I don't know how well you guys can see this on camera, but there is a pretty cool scale effect happening here all around this guy. And I'm loving this stuff. I'm gonna apply one on the dome right here. This is that Reaper plastic, the Reaper miniatures plastic. That's like kind of 
squishy, I guess would be the only way to describe it. I guess it's vinyl. I've only been loading up my airbrush in like little doses at a time because like I said, you have to keep your brush clean with this stuff. Keep it moving. I didn't know you could do that before. Joey Williams is asking, what model is this? It looks like Cthulhu. Yes, it is definitely It is Cthulhu. Cthulhu. It's the Reaper, Reaper Miniatures Cthulhu. It's like vinyl or something. It's not plastic. It's like a vinyl figure. But I did replace the wings with uh, some Tyranid wings. Jerry Williams says it's stunning. Thank you. I haven't done too much to it yet, really. like a weird clog here. I don't think it's this paint. I was having this issue the other night with some Vallejo paint too. The airbrush? Yeah. You have had that airbrush for a while. I, I go hard on airbrushes. Well, if you're going to buy one, buy another one before the end of the year. It's a tax deduction. I will. <laughs> So there's a poll going on the video if you've used Turbodork paints and you'll see a little notification says um, you can always select to know when we go live. Make sure you guys have your notification turned on and then you'll know when we're live every Thursday. Let's see how this looks. Oh yeah, that looks cool. Oh, that's a nice scale effect. 
Here, hold on a second, guys. I gotta do like a clean out of my airbrush. There's there's like a chunk of paint or something in here that's jamming it up. Just give me a minute. see it is Ugh. it's my fault guys this is I was cleaning I was painting something I mean in a rush and I don't think that I cleaned out my airbrush properly That's what was jamming up there, brush. <laughs> Trey Williams says, I forgot to say, super happy with my stencils and other bits you sent. Thank you so very much. Awesome. awesome. Thanks, dude. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's the money. There is this giant glob of paint, which is not Turbo Door paint. This is Vallejo paint. There's like some green in here from when I was painting uh, a week ago that jammed up my airbrush. And there we are, much better. All right, back in business. Okay, let's get back to this. So, can get back to doing some reptile uh, skin effects on here. Can I just kind of apply these? paint a good shake. There we go. <coughs> mm.
This radium color is really nice. That's a great iridescent effect there. I'm just gonna move this whole double stencil piece down to here. I'm just working around this guy, you know, just kind of doing different sections as as I get along to them. I'll get back to those wings in a little bit having fun just doing this honestly under his tentacles here. There we go. Oh, yeah.
so you can hand paint Turbo Dork, but I just feel that like airbrushing it just kind of evenly distributes the uh, the material, whatever it is that that the pigment that's in the paint that makes it like glisten. The Turbo Shift. Yeah. I call it. Whatever that pigment is that they use that makes everything kind of glisten and shimmer. It's definitely got a better effect when airbrushed. But some of their metallic paints are awesome and look awesome even if they're brushed on too. I'm definitely going to be using their gunmetal on some stuff coming up. This big belly that he's got. What time do we have? It is 1.55. You got some time. Five minutes. Well, you got, you know, we didn't start till like five after, so. Ten minutes? Yeah. and another batch here. And tomorrow's newsletter, we are going to have um, also red squad markings, um, yellow and blue squad markings are launching tomorrow too. If you don't get our newsletter, if you pop over to our website, it's a great time to sign up because you get a $5 off coupon just for joining. Just so, for signing up. Yeah. And you guys asked for it, the uh, squad markings and colors, so we listened. It's, it's coming. Mm -hmm. So now when you order your, uh, you know, various S. Tartes chapters, you can get matching squad markings with them. Amazing. All right, I am going to do, I'm going to switch gears here for just a minute. I want to add a little bit of shading to the underside of the sky. So I'm going to switch from a Turbo Dork paint to a uh, contrast color. This turquoise color is good. Pterodon turquoise. And I'm going to use it to start kind of airbrushing some translucent shadows in the recess areas of them.
my compressor is not kicking on right now. Unless it overheated. That is something really, really cool. The camera does not give the color shifting paint justice. Yeah, we're like gonna that. have to take we're gonna have to have Simon take some good photos of this thing when it's done. Yes. I'll take it down next week. I will. Because the color, the color shift paint with the contrast paint really, really works out here, I think. Yeah, it looks a lot more gold on camera, see? Yeah, the camera is definitely pumping up the contrast a little bit with that. It's more greenish in person, I think. Oh, yeah. So yeah, like I said, guys, uh, we're going to be doing a couple more videos. I'm going to be doing a Necron Monolith soon. I also picked up Mortarian for my Death Guard. So both of those guys are going to pop, are going to appear in videos very shortly. Um, like I was saying before, well, Jules was saying before, a lot of big things happening for the store. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. We're going to be carrying um, a lot of new third-party products. Um, we kind of got motivated in, in one of the worst ways possible, but it turned out to be pretty good. We're going to be doing Games Workshop, Army Painter, Turbo Dwarf, which is launching tomorrow. We got new t-shirts coming up soon and some more swag. I'm working on sculpting tools right now, which I'm hoping to launch before Black Friday. Some new sculpting tools of our own design, which I think will be pretty neat. They will, but they are gonna launch before Black Friday. No light a fire under your butt. I've been working on them. I've been working on them. It's not like we haven't been extremely busy. It's a good problem to have, though. Yes, it is. I think this is where we're gonna stop for this video I'm gonna be doing a little bit more detailing on this guy some more steps and uh, we'll get some good photos taken up so you can see just how well this turbo dork stuff shimmers everywhere I mean I, I love the way it looks I think it's pretty great like look at that texture on that tail right there sick all right guys well thanks for watching and uh, Check in next week, uh, 1 o'clock on Thursdays, Eastern, and uh, we're going to have more stuff that we're doing. All right. Have a good one.